Hello students, today we are going to start with a new chapter that is coal and petroleum. So just I will write the name of the chapter, it is coal and petroleum. Okay. So, first of all I would like to talk about like, like whatever things which are present around us okay, can be divided into two things like can be natural or can be man made. Okay. World around us is very very beautiful, okay. we will find plenty of things, n number of things we will find and when I say that we can divide them into some categories okay. and the categories can be what natural and man made. So, how can we divide? It is very easy and you all have studied this in lower classes like maybe earth, okay, air, water all these are what? These are natural substances okay. and say artificial what can be the artificial? Maybe uh, anything like plastic, okay, any synthetic thing, maybe cement, maybe bricks, maybe benches. Okay. So, all these things comes under the category of what man made things. There can be few things as just now I told bench. Okay. So, bench is man made thing, but obviously the material from which it is being made is uh, like we have obtained that from obviously from the nature. So, basically we can divide things into two categories, but what all these things are known as like what we are talking about what. So, children whatever things which human beings used for welfare for his own benefit okay, for any kind of use any purpose if human beings are using some, uh, some particular things it can be known as resources, it can be known as resources. So, I will just write first of all the definition of resources. So, how resources can be defined as? anything which is used by humans for his survival or welfare can be called as resources. So, what I have written over here, I have written definition of resources. And how can we define resources? Anything which is used by humans, okay. Obviously, we are talking about human beings, we are using things, okay. So, anything which is used by humans for his survival, okay, or welfare can be called as resources, okay. Anything we talk about, like it can be soil, it can be air, it can be water, it can be forest products it can be wood anything which we are using for our benefit for our welfare okay for which is useful for our survival can be termed can be coined as resources now as just now i told you like resources can be divided into two categories okay what can be the first category the first can be natural resources natural resources and 
द सेकेंड कैन बी मैन मेड रिसोर्सेस ओके सो लेट मी मेक दिस सी प्रॉपरली आई डोंट नो चौक इज नॉट वर्किंग देर ओके नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एंड मैन मेड रिसोर्सेस सो as the name itself is suggesting okay here name itself is su suggesting natural that means we are getting these substances from nature there is nothing much to learn or to understand about only the word itself here the word itself is indicating the meaning or the definition itself okay natural and man made so let me write the definition of this it can be those resources which are obtained by or i can even write obtain from it can be as from obtain from nature are called as natural resources okay now what can be the example of natural resources what can be the example of natural resources it can be sunlight just try to remember just try to recall what are the things which we get naturally sunlight soil water air okay then what are written yes i've written so all these are so all these are natural resources and how can we define man made resources obviously i can write those resources which are made by man are called as man made resources okay are called as man made resources what can be the examples over here i can write many things like plastic cement i can even write glass okay n number of things which even you know okay so okay so now what we have studied first of all we have learned the definition of resources means anything which we or the human beings uses for their survival for their benefit for their use okay using for use it cannot be but using for the welfare for the benefit okay for the survival is known as what it is known as resources then it can be divided into two categories natural and man made resources this is one natural and other one man made resources now i can i can again like divide into categories i can talk about i will be talking about now types of okay types 
of resources. Okay, so uh, it can be divided in two categories. Before discussing the categories, I would just like to give you a hint. You might have studied. Now we will study about types of resources. Before starting this, I would just like to remind or I want you to recall that you might have heard many a times people saying that petrol may get over after few years or you might have studied in your syllabus only that the fuels, the things which we are using uh, in an unlimited way can, it will get over very soon. Okay? So, uh, it can be divided when we talk about the types of resources, it can be of two type, exhaustible resources and inexhaustible. resources ok. So, we can divide this into two, it can be divided into two exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources. Now children try to understand there is no need to be confused or to learn exhaust See, when you work uh, more, uh, suppose one day, one fine day you studied more or uh, you uh, played more okay? or you have done something for uh, particular you know continuously for many hours. Okay? How do you feel? You feel exhausted, okay? you feel exhausted that means you feel that my energy is over. Now, I do not have energy to work further, now I do not have energy to continue my studies further. Okay. So, what is the meaning of exhaustible resources? Those resources which will exhaust, okay, which, will, which will get over, which will get finished one day very soon if it is not used properly. Okay. What is the meaning of inexhaustible? Obviously, it is just opposite to exhaustible that means these resources will never come to an end. Okay? So, what we are studying? We are studying about the types of resources. It can be divided into two categories. First is exhaustible. How and uh, what can be the way? How can I define it? I can write those resources. which which get what what should I write over here which will get over which will get over after few years ok. So, how can we define exhaustible as when certain thing is like when, when I say these are the one which will get over that means they are present in which kind of way it is obviously present in limited way ok that means it is not present in more quantity ok. So, I can write over here what there is no place in writing exhaustible. So, what there is limited stock, there is limited uh, amount which is present, which is available with us. Okay. Now, how can I write inexhaustible those resources which are
available in plenty or they are they are non what what i can write they will not get over they are not present see those resources which are available in plenty or they are in which kind of way they are in an unlimited they have they are in an unlimited i will just write this thing in bracket na in an unlimited stock just for your understanding okay and what should i write over here we have only limited stock okay these are what limited and these one are unlimited stock we have unlimited there is no end it won't come to an end even if we use it more and more okay then what can i write as an example here what can be the examples of inexhaustible that means it won't get over so what can be the examples it can be sunlight same way okay sunlight air wind air and wind will be again same so sunlight and air okay even tides okay tides can also be used okay so all these are what unlimited stock is there like there is no there is no worry and we can use these things as much as we can as much as we want okay and what can be the examples for exhaustible resources what can i write over there i can write petrol examples of i would have to wind it up okay examples of this one exhaustible okay so what can be ex examples which are the what are the things which will get over so obviously we all know petrol okay then what are the other things which can come to an end even the gas natural gas coal okay coal natural gases all these things are what they are present in limited stock we cannot keep on using this stock without uh, any check we have to keep a check on these kind of stocks even you know i i can say that even the uh, i can even write over here what i can write i can even write like forest okay natural gas all this can be written over here all these can be taken as an example see why i have written forest you may be thinking that how a, how forest can uh, come to an end and why because we can plant as many as plants as we can but children the thing is that when we plant trees okay when we plant which kind of plant we are going to use which is which will be beneficial for us okay you just try to understand or just try to check the difference between the man made forest or uh, the plants which are grown by us and then natural forest which trees we will find like what trees we are going to plant maybe gulmohar maybe ashoka maybe neem maybe mango banyan peepal all very common one okay which we know and which are beneficial for us but when you talk about forest there are n number of varieties in the forest and they are like uh, it is not about the nature's benefit they grow in a natural way and a natural forest is form which is quite different from what we grow so again forest can be taken in an exhaustible ex uh, example or resources 
one more thing I would like to clear over here in few books uh, like forest is considered as inexhaustible resources and the reason I gave you because like see always the difference between the uh, suppose or some researches are being done or when the discoveries uh, are done ok when we talk about say the example of atom. So, all the scientists when they started studying the atom they will be given different different definitions they will be given different different views ok. In the same way few people consider that forests are what they are exhaustible they are going to come to an end if we do not use it properly. But when we talk about few other group they think that plant are the one which can be grown. So, it can be taken as inexhaustible form ok. So, what we are doing we are studying here types of resources how many kind of resources can be there exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources exhaust means what I just gave you the example exhaust means like uh, tiring ok getting away. So, those resources which are what we have in limited amount will get over one day. So, what can be those resources what are the examples of those resources I have written over here ok. It can be petrol, coal, forest and natural gas inexhaustible which is untiring ok unlimited untiring. So, what are those resources those resources which are available in plenty or they are in an unlimited stock ok. If you want to put in bracket you can put from here also or they are in an unlimited stock ok. And what is there in an unlimited stock you use sunlight as much as you can and you all know that sunlight will never come to an end air you can use as much as you want and we all know even the tides nowadays are very useful for us in creating energy which kind of energy different different energies are being created now in from the tidal waves also. So, this was about exhaustible and inexhaustible resources. Now, I would like to tell you something extra now see exhaustible resources can also be known as what it can be known as see it is going to which kind of resources which is going to be like it is going to be we cannot form it ok. So, these are what non renewable ok non renewable resources it can also be known as non renewable resources while inexhaustible can also be known as it can also be known as what it can be known as renewable resources. Again the name itself indicates non renewable we cannot make it new we cannot again reform it ok. So, this is what non renewable resources and here what I have written renewable these all things can be renewed ok renewed in the sense it does not means that we are going to make it, but we have that ok. So, this is non renewable resources and renewable resources one more name is there like conventional resources and unconventional or non conventional ok conventional and non conventional resources conventional means what the traditional ways which we are using ok. So, it can also be known as which one this one or here I have written the example it can be also known as conventional sources why conventional conventional means what the things which we are using from many years ok the things which are in tradition ok. So, these are known as what even this can be called as conventional resources and these one are the recently like we I am not saying that just before one year or two year, but actually it this one inexhaustible one is new like these are the new methods earlier we never used to use like 
before few years these methods were not into existence. So, these kind of methods are also known as non conventional methods ok non conventional means what which were not in tradition, but now these are being used. So, it is also known as non conventional methods ok. So, now what we are going to talk about now how ok now we will just talk about something one topic we will be talking about exhaustible resources and in that also we will select one. For before this what we will uh, talk about I want to talk about exhaustible resources. Now see children when I say about the petrol where is petrol here when I say petrol and coal ok these are what exhaustible resources and as the name suggests coal and petroleum. So, today we are going to talk much about petrol and coal. So, how we get petrol and how coal is formed ok. We are going to talk about this we will be talking about the types of coal we will be talking about the petroleum products uses ok and how these things are in danger. So, just let me rub the blackboard. <coughs> 